This is from a movie called Sex Tapes and Video Lies or something. At one point the hero says, no, I'm a one key man. If I have a car, I've got my car key, I have no house. If I have a house, I have no car. I'm a one key man. Welcome. This is actually a way of cheating the thieves. You see all this shit around, they would never think there's anything valuable here. I am Mati, I come from Switzerland. I've been in China since 97. In Changsha, in this home for four years now. I'm a musician, and I first came to Changsha in '99, and I enjoyed very much the small size, Xiangjiang River, Yerushan, and us. So I was very happy to have a chance to come back in 2000. Now, what you see around you looks great with the camera today. Um, it's all cheap second-hand crap put together over the years because I don't have a lot of money and because, you know, why waste good money on a stupid sofa when you can get a cheap one that does the job. No, um, it's important that when you do your home, everything comes in one by one and fits in and that really becomes your home. If you arrive and you buy, okay, I want this room like this and all like that, no? same as neighbor, what kind of life is that? Then these lovely lamp shades made of our delicious yogurt tops. The kitchen corner again, you can keep it mobile and light. You know, you know, we have electric stuff, which is good. The gas, the fire, you don't need the whole big thing. Another thing, if you can do in your home, is break down the wall. This way, that little room, which I would never go to before, because I have to go through the other side by Beijing, I can now. Step in. And it's a wonderful meeting place. Guest room, very quickly. You have king size bed, sheet, a blanket. Your friends are happy. This was the packaging of the double base, and doesn't it mean a beautiful double bookshelf? Pick up, keep things, keep good things, and very quickly you've got a home if you want. Of course, China is normal, it's a very, very safe place, there's no question about it. However, one day I come, came back after a holiday to find all my little belongings had been opened and taken out of boxes that spread very neatly, very gently and had been admired by someone who also went into my fridge and then had a nice little lunch in the book room good for him and he then stole a bag from the neighbor he didn't steal the camera that was in the bag he just took the bag and he was really very respectful at the time so even that became very nice now the bathroom is of course a very important place as we all know again it's important to um, use your imagination so you know, double walking wood walking everybody's happy this is, this is best thing in the winter because there you go. Now in winter it's steaming hot boiling water and you just stay in it half an hour. You can then walk naked in zero degrees temperature for half an hour. And in summer you reverse the principle. Freezing water 
I haven't said, but the water in this house comes from the mountain directly. <laughs> I'm not joking. This is what quality of life means. And here finally we have, it's uh, not really well finished, but as you can see over the years, I've had a tendency to accumulate all kinds of movies, videos. The thing was in Guangzhou, 5 UN, then you have the real European ones, not Doban, this is a real thing, but it was broken, so they can't sell it, so they gave it to me. So this way I was able to follow a lot of the movie world. Ah, oh, it's the Swiss family romance. It's a Disneyland, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do we have over here? This is much better, Charles Dickens. These are Hei Jiao Chang Pian. Nobody knows what that's anymore. Oye, oye, bonnes gens, écoutez cette histoire. Du fond de ma mémoire, je vais vous la conter. Il se passe à Guangzhou, au nord de Tonkin. Bien loin, bien loin des lois de Pékin. La faiseuse. C'est important de have as many as around as possible because when inspiration comes you need to put water um, oh quick I want a flute here oh I want a accordion here a bit of guitar there so you just turn around pick it up try record it this was a second hand crap I bought in one show <laughs> this is this is the vital case so a good old fridge reconverted the reason is that in case of fire, I hope it won't burn. And this is this is what uh, what I just meant. If you have good microphones, you can record anything anywhere. So these are part of my instruments, and over the years you learn to use them better and better. I knew I could not come to China and. Uh, say hi I'm a musician you know so what 600 million Chinese can play guitar so I needed to find a key to the Chinese law and that was a volunteer English teacher in Yangshou. So the first two years I only listened and learned about Chinese music. I, I didn't perform really, I didn't worry about it also. Uh, I knew this was going to be a lifelong thing so there was no rush. This was 2000, it was still very rock, black clothes and big, big electric amplifiers and guitars and very noisy. And the first time I just went with this and I started... And they were all very surprised because I was louder than some of the electric guitars. And I just wanted to show them that you know, music is not the biggest box, the biggest guitar, the biggest sound. It's a different approach. And after that, Wang Lei asked me to join the band, really. And I became uh, one of my favorite jobs in music, which is a musical director. Um, you, have to, you need to have somebody who gives a direction. To, to, to say what is good, what is bad, what should be changed, or how to do that. And that's also a very important part of music, arranging, directing. So the Wang Lei and Pump band went on a few more years, very well, until 2007, where we were working on a big project with uh, Sichuan Opera, meeting uh, reggae dub music. We had 16 people on stage, traditional costumes, traditional Sichuan opera with uh, bass and drum, stuff like that. And as things often happen in the world of rock and roll, the band split up when things were really getting interesting. So um, at that point we also rearranged Wang Lei's repertoire from really techno hardcore to acoustic, unplugged and reggae music, which was, to explain it, it's you go from this to this.
What's your name? Oh,这个是眼睛，这是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这个是眼睛，这
first time this was a very big eye-opener. I thought these places only existed in books, in university, ethnography books. It's possible to enjoy this today with, with still a lot of the modern life comforts more and more. Music doesn't make me cry anymore when I'm done. I've emptied my emotional potential and there's no really much point in carrying on anything. That's what I've been kind of feeling over the years. Music still makes me cry, uh, happy to say, and uh, more and more, and some of the same old songs. And I really mean makes me cry. That's when you see it's a good song, it's a good music, it's a good work. If it manages to hit you somewhere that just brings you to tears, what more could it be? Everybody is talking about all these pollution issues, about all this life quality, environment, this and that, problems. And more and more people just come into the cities and add up on top of that. People are having babies non-stop. To me that doesn't really work with those questions that we need to find a way to blah blah blah. So I think that leaving the city and, and going to a place where there is blue sky and green fields and warm-hearted people, for me at this point in my life is much more interesting than just staying in an urban jungle, developing incredibly fast. I regret that I will miss the subway. <laughs> I was looking forward very much to the Turkish subway. But, you know, you have to make choices and I'll come back to ride the subway in a few years.
one there, this one up there too. I'll ask the local village, um, nigga, Tsun Chang. E se você um para mim, se importa se já vem gati, que nunca mais se só fazia e só sorriso é meu Luiz.